What is this background? This is crazy. Oh, there she looks. That looks awesome. Dude, wait, everyone else has this package already. Battle state is rich. This video is rated T or tickle me pink. Escape from Tarkov has changed forever. Today, the unheard of edition of Escape from Tarkov came out and it is anything but what the name implies. People are calling it pay to win. It comes with a better version of the game above edge of darkness with more stash space, weapons cases, high tier armor piercing ammunition, fully modified weapons, and much, much more. Today, we're gonna actually review this package. Is it worth buying? We'll talk about that depending on a host of different variables. For example, if you're already on standard edition, if you already are on edge of darkness edition, what your income is looking like, is this worth purchasing? And we'll also talk about is this pay to win? Is Battle State in trouble financially? We will touch base on all that in this video. If you guys make it all the way to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys why I purchased this version of the game outside of this video. And no one is talking about this reason. But first, don't click off of this. I have free groceries for you guys from HelloFresh. That's all you need to know. If you want to try out HelloFresh and get $100 of free groceries sent to your house, shoot me a message on Discord and let's continue with this video. All right, so we've navigated over to the new unheard of edition of Escape from Tarkov. So let's see what we have going on here. Access to the PvE co-op mode with persistent progression. Progression will not be re reset with wipes. I am surprised they decided to tie up behind this big price point. I feel like they could have attracted a lot of people into the game by just giving this to them on like even the standard version of the game to be honest enhanced stash size 10 by 72 okay eod came with 680 four more lines in edge of darkness I get a unique in-game id i'll see if i can get a picture I'll, i'm sure we'll show it later on in this video expanded pmc pocket so we do know what this looks like it looks exactly like the scav vest from the game increased fence standing now i wonder how much this really is more slots on the flea market i have five slots on the flea market right now and you have to earn the slots every single wipe by going ahead and selling things on the flea market increased mail retention time so i imagine that's if you have like a proper insurance something like that additional background screen option okay i guess we'll check that out when we get in game free access to all subsequent dlcs season pass okay so you gotta keep in mind that if you have eod already this is already in eod you are supposed to get all subsequent dlcs people are kind of max they feel like this is a dlc and access to early test server ets this is basically basically the public test realm if you're familiar for games like league of legends basically the future patch before it even happens and we'll see additional equipment in that stash you know it's gonna feel good if you decide to buy this or not is killing someone who has this gear on at the start of next wipe will be so satisfying and then you start with level three of all skills now this will be really nice for bolt action rifles there's a quest that kind of like limits you until you get to level three bolt action rifles so that's going to be big unique radio electronic item named mark of the unheard this item is equipped to this special slot this item gives a 50 percent discount when using a cash service in raids interesting okay so anytime you're gonna go ahead and suv out for example or i imagine the way they phrase that anytime you go ahead and pay the btr etc insured equipment returns 30 percent faster with a six plus fence reputation scavs won't shoot first it ranges over 60 meters away that honestly seems busted that seems like pay to win not gonna lie will be available with future updates ability to build a unique zone in the hideout unique item distress signal device when the item is activated it produces a bright flash as well as a loud signal once activated all players on your friends list will receive a notification they can join your raid to help you that's crazy okay so my initial impressions are you're going to be able to get uh we'll have to see how this actually plays calling someone into a game it does kind of go against like um what we know from tarkov but they also do want to make tarkov like an open world game at some point so when they say you're going to be able to call someone into a raid this might be years out from now potentially like you're literally calling someone into an open raid all right let's go ahead and buy this and also and we'll go ahead and get some impressions on the items in game it does it feel worth it and then we'll talk about if you should or shouldn't buy it let's go ahead and get in game oh wow so we actually have a different version of the game here that's kind of cool i wonder if we're gonna see like the cultist priest with this item present in it oh there's a switch to the pve zone okay let's just click on this right now take me to the pve i've had a long day of getting fucked in the main game all right let's see oh yeah so just like that it's like starting a brand new wipe right there okay welcome to the pve zone of the game mode 
In this mode, you can experience the full game with the persistence PV character progression, solo or with friends without worrying about being attacked by the players in a raid. All mechanics are identical to PP zone game mode. But yeah, okay, wow, dude, just look at everything you're starting with here. So now we can actually see, you know, EOD, all the other additions, everything you're starting with. This is the, the special slot item. Just your standard stuff, nothing crazy until we get down here and you have a Bazgarly. Now, what plates does it have? Okay, it doesn't come with side plates. I, part of me almost expected this to have level six plates in it. Um, and then it looks like here we have this knife. Let's go ahead and put on this armband. How's that look? It's just like a bloody cultist symbol. That's all right. I would say it's like a one of the best looking iron bands in the game, to be honest. What else do we get? Wow, look at that AK-105. What in the world? We knew the scar was modified, but that thing is surprisingly modified. And do these magazines come with BT loaded? They do. They they all have BT loaded and you have 90 loose. So it says you come with 90 BT, but you're actually getting an extra 120 on that. And I, I'd imagine it's the same with the PS. So you're getting an extra 80 rimmed PS. You know what would be insane is if you start bear here, and then you actually load this ammunition into something like a Mosin, for example, or if you get your hands on an SVT, you could cause chaos. But the ammo box, the weapons crate, and the, um, the scav junk box will be massive. Like, I'm okay, so let's just imagine that we just got on right here. Imagine you just go your items down here. You should go ahead and start getting rid of all of these. It's gonna help you out a tremendous, tremendous amount. Just starting off with these few cases. Well, let's go look at the traders too. So we'll see. We have 0.2 rep with all traders. Oh, we have 0.5 with fence. I wonder if the PV zone has the flea market. Wait a second. Let me go back to it. I guess I won't have it unlocked either way. I got to imagine no, no flea market. But they did say it has everything that the other version of the game has. Imagine if the PVE. Okay, I'm only seeing. Okay, that would have been crazy. I could have seen it going either way, but it looks like I was wrong about that. The hideout hmm okay is this gonna be like a stash upgrade four does it say that over here oh yeah so it is a stash upgrade four so i have to imagine you will be able to upgrade to this stash in game just like how you could upgrade to the eod stash you will be able to get four more lines in game if i had to guess speaking of those four more lines let's go bump over to the pvp version of the game here so do we have four more lines at the bottom yep we just have four more lines down here at the bottom now interesting okay that's how that worked. Oh, here's the pocket slots. We didn't see those before. Those are interesting. Okay, that, that's gonna take a while to get used to, not gonna lie. Just it looks so out of place. Let's go ahead and check our package here. So we have another gamma container. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit weird here. We'll receive all. Oh. An extra gamma container. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I already have another gamma container lying around in this freaking stash somewhere. There it is. Okay. That is, th this is problematic for me. <laughs> this is a very nicely modified scar. I imagine if you get your hands on this, you are going to be destroying anyone. If you already pick USEC as well, you're getting a massive amount of green tip 855 off the start. You just load in with this sucker. You come in with a friend and you guys will probably dominate. Now that we've kind of got an uh, idea of these packages in the game, uh, why don't we, you know, just see, do I think, is it worth for you to buy, yes or no? Also, if you guys make it to the end of this video, I'll tell you guys why I purchased this version of the game and no one is talking about it. I want to quickly see though, ooh, okay, so that's what the logo looks like. I wonder what the unique hideout zone you're going to be able to buy in here, or make in here is. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there's like that yellow serrated section. I didn't think it's serrated. It's like that yellow section. Not a big fan of that, honestly. Now you've seen actually what you get from this package. Let's just talk about should you purchase this package? And there's a ton of variables to actually talk about first and foremost. Now, whether or not you decide to buy this package, this is only good for the game. And let me explain here. Anyone who does buy this package, this money goes back into Escape from Tarkov, giving us new weapons, faster updates, faster patches. I mean, this wipe has been a killer wipe. They've been absolutely blowing you out of the water with the patches, listening to the community. That is where this money goes. So don't freak out over it. If this package isn't worth it to you, it's no big deal. Other people will buy it and fund the game that you do care about. So let's say you are a standard edition player, particularly starting relatively recently, and you didn't decide to upgrade to the Edge of Darkness edition. Now, they were charging $150 for this, but they've been charging that price since around 2016. Now, inflation has been all over the news. 
they are charging $250 for this package. However, it is going to be effectively just a little bit more than EOD back in the original days of Tarkov. They are commanding a premium, but a lot of us paid that big premium before all this shitty COVID inflation situation to help fund this game and get the game to where we have now. So if you want to have the latest and greatest, you want to join EOD effectively, as that's really what this is, you are going to have to pay that $250 as a standard edition user, and that's around $200. So I don't know what your guys' income situation looks like, but you can get several games from that. You will be able to go ahead and get what looks like almost every single one of these things in the actual game. So I wouldn't really worry about it. If you have the money to spend on it and Tarkov is the only game you play, let's say you've only played Tarkov since the wipe, then yes, you probably will get your money's worth. For me, for example, when I look that I bought EOD for $150, yet I have 9,000 hours in the game. I mean, we're talking the amount of enjoyment I get for my money's worth is about uh, like a cent an hour. It is astronomical. It's unbelievable and one of the best investments gaming wise that I personally have purchased. If you're in a similar boat, you probably can justify purchasing this if you are a standard edition user and Tarkov is your main game. Now, I'm not going to talk about all the packages in between. You're going to have to kind of compare these two perspectives, but let's say you are Edge of Darkness edition. I do not think you're getting a tremendous amount of value for the extra $100. And you could also use this kind of mindset with the standard edition. Rather, if you guys wanted to instead get the stash upgrade from $50 because you have got a lot of enjoyment out of Tarkov, that would give you a massive leg up right now, as well as at the very start of the wipe, it would help you out more than anything you can buy from this package. Now, if you're EOD and you have played thousands, thousands, thousands of hours, and you want to start next wipe with that weapons case, with that ammo case, or those weapons, you can, but that's a lot of money to pay just for a little bit of gear. And I would say it's not worth it. EOD users, I think you guys have already paid your part and you really don't need this version of the game. And unless you guys actually wanna play the PVE co-op version of the game, then you do not need to purchase this. And you're really just not getting immense value out of this package if you upgrade it. So if you already have EOD, this is effectively just the modern EOD that replaced the old one because they have to have that income from somewhere. And I can say they were a little bit of son of a bitches by just making it tantalizing, making it just like oh, that much better than EOD. Ooh, four more stash lines. It's not that big of a deal. Ooh, a little bit of fence rip. You really don't need it. Oh, what is that? A new knife? Do I really need that? Mm, probably not. Ooh, a new, new icon? Do you need that? No, like all these things, they're really, they don't have much value to them, but... Like what, two more pocket slots? What are, you, what are you doing? Do you have a full backpack, full rig of Bitcoins and graphics cards? Like, damn, if I only had two more pocket slots, I would have got out with two more Bitcoins in that raid or uh, two more lead X's, right? It's just like these tiny, tiny upgrades that really shouldn't matter. They're just going ahead and like tantalizing it in your face and they just made it just so, just a little slightly better than that EOD edition. And I think that's really what's pissing people off here. That's where I stand on if or not you should actually purchase this. One other thing I want to talk about is this is like kind of been a controversial update. Um, I personally would have liked to see that the PVE mode be tied to EOD at least. It did say that it would have, you know, future DLCs. And I would like to see that maybe they give that to the EOD users. But other than that, I'm not really mad about this. Um, also, people on Twitter and streamers kind of forced our, uh, like Battlestate Games hand here, particularly Reddit. They were screaming and screaming and screaming at Battlestate Games that they had to remove EOD. And you got to remind, remember that EOD is like uh, really how they make a lot of their money for this game, right? And Reddit whined and whined and whined, had their way and they removed EOD. And if you've been following my content for the last couple of months, I said they will add a new version of the game that is effectively EOD and charge you guys more. And that's exactly what we have here. So they kind of made their bed and now they're lying in it. You'll see, you know, grown ass man literally in tears over this update on something they don't need to purchase, which I think is a bad take. It really is not a big deal whatsoever. So there's one other avenue about this that you guys probably aren't familiar about. Maybe you are. And that's single player Tarkov. So single player Tarkov, just to catch you up to speed, is basically the source code from Escape from Tarkov was stolen. And they made their own version of the game where you could play through the game in single player. And there's 
fake AI that's supposed to be PMCs. They're kind of like pushovers and everything is scaled up. For example, Queen was playing it on stream earlier and he found like the Mark Drum keys in the first jacket he looted. Like the key cards spawn every single time. It's a much, much easier version of the game. Uh, AI will buy things off the flea market for whatever you want. You could list something stupid up for uh, millions of rubles and you'll get tons and tons of rubles out of it. Now, it's kind of a pain in the ass to install and people have wanted this like the pve section of this game in single player target has actually gotten pretty popular it has its own community going on um there's literally youtube channels that cover this stuff it's popular amongst people that don't have the time to consistently play tarkov wipes or they don't have the skill and i'm not saying that to shit on anyone tarkov is a very difficult game and there are people that are like disabled veterans and stuff like that who like tarkov they really can't keep up. I mean, imagine playing Tarkov with one arm. I, I know a guy who plays Tarkov with his tongue. So it's very difficult to actually play. And they still want that experience. You know what I'm saying? So that's where this angle comes in. So PvE is going to effectively remove single player Tarkov. You will be able to pay for this and have the co-op version. And it's already going to be on like Tarkov itself. It's not going to be like this weird rigged mod, which is basically what single player Tarkov is. And I would say that most people, they're not going to pay that additional amount. I mean, let's say $100 if you already have EOD to go ahead and then play the co-op or single player version. A lot of people wouldn't pay that premium. However, there is one issue that people don't talk about. And that is how disrespectful and rude people are in the single player Tarkov. It is probably one of the worst communities I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, I personally got into it for making, if you guys have seen my Escape Before Zero series, to make some crazy shots for you guys. And we actually had to modify and make our own tools to actually get those shots for that video. And when asking simple questions in the uh, in the Discord, you are met with insane reasoning. Like people will call you slurs, call you all sorts of names. And I've seen it happen to just about every single person who's tried to install single player Tarkov. It is honestly an insane elitist circle jerk. And I would not be surprised if people actually just go ahead and buy this, you know, let's say $100, maybe even they spent however much more of the standard edition, what $200 of the standard edition, just because they want to play that PV and co-op mode. There are high income earners, guys that are in their 30s, 40s, who barely get to play the game. They want to play Tarkov and just can't keep up with these patches, can't keep up with these wipes. And maybe you're sitting there and you have all the time to play in the world. It's just the polar opposite. You guys are on opposite spectrums. They have more money than they have time. You have more time than you have money. I'm not saying that to disrespect either parties. That's just kind of like the, the flow of life. And it'll happen to all of us at one point or another. So that is an angle to think about on why people will actually purchase this. And once again, that money is just going to go back into being a better product for you guys on Tarkov. And when I look at other games, like, for example, Star Citizen, uh, Escape from Tarkov, by all means, people like to say dumb devs and this game is terrible, but it is really setting the precedent for this entire genre as someone that started playing like Arma 2 DayZ back in 2012 when the Frankie videos originally started in a building a computer to actually get in this genre and this this survival genre has built both the extraction looter genre like Tarkov as well as the battle royale genre they all started on the survival genre like I originally played player unknowns battlegrounds his mods in Arma 2 and I played them so much I was well known by him he gave me a key to PUBG when it came out. So just keep that in mind. This has been a long time baking. I mean, we're over a decade in it at this point, and I'm happy to invest to see this genre grow more. Similar to Star Citizen. If you guys know Star Citizen, I mean, they have literally $50,000 USD packages. Uh, they're like premium invite only packages. Imagine like joining like Ferrari or Rolex or something like that. It's not really Rolex, but premium invite only packages. You need to spend so much with and gain favor with them to even buy it. And you look at that game and that game, you know, it's it's not in a phenomenal playable state by any means, but that is going to set the precedent. And that'll be like the first game that'll like be VR, like metaverse, like it actually consumes your life. And Tarkov is just like that. There's really no other game on the market. I mean, it is forced Call of Duty and Battlefield's hand. They've tried to go ahead and copy these game modes. It's given us a ton of games to play, like the Cycle Frontier. You could even say Dark and Darker, right? and tons of other games like Marauders have been inspired by Tarkov. Additionally, the weapon modding system in the game is set like an industry standard, right? Other games actually copy that. AAA titles copy that. You look at Grey Zone Warfare, although I think Grey Zone Warfare is a phenomenal game, they even copy Escape from Tarkov, and it's because Escape from Tarkov is the industry standard. They are always on the bleeding edge. So whether or not you guys decide to buy this package, other people will, and you're just going to continue to get a better and better project. 
me personally i wouldn't care if they had a ten thousand dollar version of the game that just gave you money symbols next to your name and you spawned with a hundred million rubles i would not care because that money would go into actually bettering the game obviously that's not gonna happen that's a ridiculous proposal but i'm just throwing it out there and i don't know about you guys but i'm personally tired of going back to the same games over the last fucking decade and i believe in escape from tarkov i'm tired of going back and playing league of legends i'm tired of going back and playing overwatch counter-strike i want something new so the reason I bought the unheard of edition of the game that I don't see anyone else talking about is simply that I am an unheard content creator, an unheard streamer, and I thought it was a fitting title.